All right, guys. So I actually like this ranking. I actually really like this ranking. For the first time, I actually like the rankings. Wow, look at that, man. Jesus almighty. See what happens when you actually follow your damn criteria? Fuck. Jesus, you think this would be a lot easier. Um, but anyway, yeah, the college football playoff committee, I think, got it right. Um, the top four was, ex it was extremely clear who the top four was. Um, Alabama down to number three. I completely agree with that 100%. We we play like shit. Let's be honest. Call a spade a spade here. We have not played the best. Bama fans would admit that to you. The players would admit that to you. Nick Saban would admit that to you. Everyone, I mean, let's be honest. I mean, we, we've not played, I'm sorry, we have not played um, very well at all for this particular season. So yeah, we deserve to definitely be down a spot. And you can make an argument we should probably should be down a little bit even lower than that at number four. Um, Ohio State being at number two, listen, they deserved it. Did I think Michigan State was overrated? Right? I think they're a really good football team. Um, I think they won all their games. They deserve to be where they're at. Um, their secondary is horrible. But Ohio State got the job done. Ohio State got the job done. Listen, 49, I mean, we, we couldn't even do that. Let's be honest. We, we couldn't even do that. So 49 points against the top 10 ranked opponent. Doesn't matter where they, doesn't matter where Michigan State was ranked. Um, the fact of the matter is they're, they were 9-1 and one, and Ohio State absolutely just killed them in the first half. And CJ Stroud put up a damn near record performance damn near in the first half. So Ohio State absolutely deserved to be at number two. They've played a lot better. Their defense has only given up 15 points per game over the last seven games. They've played they've played like a top two team. Number three, I'm sorry, number four, Cincinnati. Yes, finally Cincinnati's in the top four. I've been advocating for this team to get in for about two or three weeks. Like I want to say maybe three or four weeks now. They deserve to get in. It's about damn time. We finally got a non-group of five team to finally represent and get into the top four. However, there is going to be a game I'm going to be making a video about, and that's Cincinnati versus Eastern Carolina. That's a very dangerous game on, on Friday. Cincinnati will be going on the road, 3.30. Everyone's going to be paying attention more uh, to that particular game. Because I don't, I mean, you got some really, you got some good rivalry games going on. But for that particular game where Cincinnati finally got in number four, you don't think they're going to overlook Houston. You know, I just, I don't know. They might overlook Eastern Carolina, focus on Houston for that conference championship. On the road against a again against a top four team in that conference, I'm telling you that's a very dangerous game. So I'll talk. I'll make a video definitely explaining that. Um, but uh, Michigan be a number. I think the debate is probably between Michigan and Notre Dame. I don't think Notre Dame is that good to be honest. I think they are a top ten ranked opponent um, or ranked team. I, I, like Alabama is going to play them, uh, but. Yeah, I, I don't think they're a top six team, but I do think that they are a top ranked school. But I can understand why you put them at number, at, at, at number six. Um, again, you can make an argument. Maybe they should be at number five. That definitely would help Cincinnati's case further that they should be probably, me, you know, that they should definitely in the college football playoff. But Michigan is at number five there. And, and this is all good. It's, it's, it's going to play itself out here, right? If Ohio State beats Michigan, Michigan's eliminated. Uh, it is what it is there. If Michigan beats Ohio State, Ohio State will get bounced out of the top four. Their season's over, um, and you know that's the end of that conversation. Then Notre Dame will probably slip there at the fifth spot. Um, but as far as everything goes, I mean, if you're a Cincinnati's fan, all you really got to do now is take care of business. Take care of business. Continue to dominate, right? You don't want to slip up against Eastern Carolina, um, even having a close one against them. If Cincinnati continues to dominate the next couple of games— I think they'll be fine. I think they have no, they have nothing to worry about. It really just depends on how they perform, right? Whether if they win close or they lose or they lose close, it's it's all going to depend. Because if there's anything that we learned over the last over for this not 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 just for this particular year, but over the last really two to three you know three four years, the playoff committee is very picky, right? They want these big brand teams in your in the playoff system. That's what they want. They do not want Cincinnati. They don't want a UCF. They don't want a Boise State. They don't want either one of those. They don't want any of those teams in the playoff because they don't. Because number one, it's the brand revenue, and then obviously they don't. They just don't think that these teams can probably compete, right? So overall wise, this is really good for college football. I think this is going to bring a, a whole bunch of new eyeballs to the sport. Um, a lot of people keeps calling our sport corrupt, which you can definitely make the argument for. So the fact that we finally got a non-group of five power, uh, a team finally in our top four, I think can bring a whole bunch of brand new eyeballs to the sport. And I think, honestly, I think that will increase, uh, our revenue. And I think that will increase, uh, the amount of viewership, um, if Cincinnati continues to stay in the top four, if they take care of business, of course. But of course, if they lose a game, 
it's over. It's off of them. Um, again, don't worry about Alabama, Georgia, because if Bama beats Georgia, Cincinnati still's in. Is still in. If if Georgia beats Alabama, you know it is what it is. There. Really, the only team that should, that maybe they should worry about is maybe Oklahoma, maybe Oklahoma State as well. Um, but even then, I, I just I just don't think if Cincinnati continues to dominate, I just don't think a Big Twelve champion is going to get in. I just don't think I just don't think that's going to happen. But let me know what you guys feel like. Do you feel like the committee finally got it right for this week, or do you feel like they messed up on some particular part? Let me know below the comments, and we can definitely have a conversation there. But anyway, Jan Sports, aka Jan Seven Six. I'll catch you guys later. Peace.